Hello Flutter developers, this is Vivek and now I am in this video I will explain about the block consumer ok so I have already explained what is block showbit, block observer, block provider, block builder and block listener and in, in this today's video we will cover block consumer ok so if you haven't watched my previous video I will I, I would highly recommend you to watch my previous video because the block consumer is based on block builder and the block listener so I will give you a i button link over here and go ahead and watch my previous video to understand the block consumer okay so here uh, we have a previous project code here so let me comment out for the series part 3 and I will comment out the previous videos code okay to understand the block consumer okay so let's uh, use that block consumer widget here first okay so as you can see we are getting a builder and a listener to parameter which means what it means the block consumer is the combination of a block listener and a block builder where we can use builder build when and listener listen when both functionality in block consumer okay so if we have a block listener and a block builder why we need of a block consumer so just bear with me in the video I will explain why we need a block consumer if we have a block listener and a block builder ok so let's pass this additional parameter here we required a context and state and this will return a widget so we will return a, what we can return we can return this new data which is coming from the qubit class ok so we have already created our qubit class here which emits the data whenever we click on this button ok so to listen so that that updated value we will get in the state parameter ok so uh, let use that state parameter to display the value which is coming from that qubit class ok now we have a listener here so we will pass the same parameter as we have passed early ok let me format this if you have observed we have we are using here a listener parameter okay which is a part of a block listener we can use this code in the listener actually okay but now let's try some difference okay uh, let me if I if I uh, if I want to display a snack bar okay so I can use a scaffold scaffold messenger dot off to show a snack bar ok in the content I will pass the widget ok text widget which will display the state which is display the state means upcoming value ok so this will display the upcoming value so what we have did here ok we have created a block consumer and in that block listener okay we in the listener parameter we are listening to the value which are coming from this qubit class okay now listener will in the listener we can do anything like if you want to do a routing we can do a routing we can if you want to show a text we can show that text if you want you know to display a snack bar we can also do that in the listener okay so uh, let me refresh this okay I have to pass the uh, type of qubit and the state so this block consumer is taking a counter state as an uh, as, as you can say as a qubit class and the integer as a type of a data that we are getting from that qubit okay so now if I click on the button see I am getting this snack bar also my UI is also getting rebuilt okay so this builder is from the coming from the block builder and this listener is coming from the block listener so now we are combining both the parameters okay and we are getting now this snack bar from this listener and the we are getting we are updating the ui from this builder okay so in the listener we have also a property called listen when okay so it takes it, it returns us a previous state okay previous state and the new state okay so what listener when 
So what this listen wind does actually? So as as of now we are displaying our snack bar, okay? But on every click we are showing this snack bar, okay? Let's see, see. So on every click we are showing this snack bar, okay? Now we want to conditionalize this snack bar. So whenever certain condition is matches, then only it will show a uh, snack bar, okay? So let's say if I say my new state, my new state is greater than three, then only uh, show a snack bar. Okay, let me just refresh again. Okay, so our counter value is zero. If I click on button to increment the counter, but our snack bar is not showing here. Okay, let's see when our snack bar value, when our sorry, when our listen when value matches to the condition, then we will get a snack bar. Okay. So now our the next state is our one year okay now the next state is two as you can see similarly we are getting into the ui also three as so now at this point our condition is not satisfied because our new state value is not greater than three okay if i click one more time now as soon as the condition is satisfied listen when it allows the listener to execute the code inside that listener okay so similarly we have a builder when method okay so builder when method also takes the same parameter so now i'm doing some copy paste work here to save a time okay so block builder build when also takes a previous state and new state and we can conditionalize this builder when we want to you know uh, let's say if we want a, in a certain condition in a certain condition i want to build that widget okay so let's say if i say our new state is greater than 5 then and only it will update the ui okay so now uh, as we are increasing i have clicked on the button but our builder is not building this widget and we are getting the, our next value okay and let me click one more time so now the condition is satisfied of this listener okay with the help of listen when so we are getting this snack bar but we are not getting this UI updated, we are not getting updated UI because why? Because our build when function is not satisfied yet. Okay. So let me click one more time. Still, our condition is not satisfied of build when it will not update the text widget. Okay, let me click one more time. See now our condition of build when is satisfied, and in the next state we are getting a 6, which is greater than the 5, and we are uh, our UI is also getting updated. Okay. So that's it guys this was our part 3 of our blog tutorial I will update this uh, repository onto the github and I will uh, give the link of that repository into the description also I will add the playlist of our uh, Flutter blog tutorial series so that you can understand our previous tutorial okay so in the next video we will cover in the next video we will cover a block selector and then we will cover multi block provider, multi block listener. And after that, we will finish it with the block repository. Sorry, repository provider and multiple repository provider. So, thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.